Hello everyone, welcome to this live transforming module where I get to help you understand yourself better, help you understand who you are and what you have to offer, your potential. You see, this particular module is very important because nothing else would work in life if you don't believe in yourself, if you don't build your self-confidence, if you don't believe that you have everything that it takes to succeed. You see, I can go on to teach you various ways on how to make money, on how to do different things, gimmicks, tricks, and you know techniques and tactics, but nothing else would work if you don't believe in yourself, if you don't you know, have this understanding that you are unique, that you are special, and that you are worth more in life. Yes, nothing would work if you don't get to that level where you understand that you are worth more and you have everything that it takes to succeed. Now, you see, as someone who is spiritual, I believe that, okay, I believe that God has created us specially in this life. And the Holy Bible made us to understand that God created us created us in his image and likeness and as someone who is spiritual i under i i believe that if someone said if you if someone that created something said i created you in my own image and we believe that that person that is the creator is perfect is omnipotent is all powerful then i believe that we also we are powerful we have powers beyond our measure beyond our imagination because this creator has told us that he created us in his own image that means we have everything we have the abilities to do great things and also i believe that we all are set here on purpose we all are in this life on purpose to fulfill a purpose a god-given purpose now whether you're spiritual whether you are not whether you just you know believe whatever thing you believe okay i just want you to get this basic understanding that you are special and you have everything that it takes to succeed. You have everything that it takes to live the life that you want. Now, that's what this module is going to be all about. Just to, you know, position you and build your mindset up so that you become confident. You build your self-esteem, your self-worth and your self-value. You value yourself more because going forward, everything that I'm going to share with you, okay, it's going to build on this particular module is going to build on this particular topic that is building your self-confidence and building your self-worth you see when you look at the environment we live in the world in general you see that two people would be in the same business let's say two people will be selling um books for instance one will go on to become multi-millionaire why one will still struggle and you know live in abject poverty now what's the difference the difference revolves around their mentality the difference revolves around the value they both place for themselves the way they both place on their business or on their personal life the guy who goes on to become a multi-millionaire might believe that he is a millionaire that he has everything that it takes to be a millionaire that would propel him to hang out with millionaires go where millionaires you know hang out you know, do things millionaires do and all this stuff. Now, that's what will help this person to become a millionaire or multi-millionaire and also live a good life. Meanwhile, the other guy who doesn't see himself as, you know, wealthy or doesn't see himself as someone who, you know, deserve good things would end up complaining, would end up not taking the necessary action that would propel him or her to succeed, to go on to have what they envision for themselves or what they wish for in life now i hope you are getting where i'm going with this module why it's important that you take out the time to learn everything that i'm going to show you in this module because nothing in life would work out if you don't believe in yourself nothing in life would work out if you don't trust your maker trust that god has created you for a purpose trust that everything you need that it takes to succeed in life that you have it nothing would work out if you don't believe this fact that's why like i said this module is very important and i believe everyone should take this module if they are really serious about building wealth for themselves if they are really serious about developing themselves to an extent where they are valued within their environment to an extent where you are also going to be proud of yourself. You need to take this module that is building your self-worth, building your self-confidence, helping you to understand that 
you are worth more in life yes so let's just proceed properly now to the module with everything said now for those of you who might be wondering who i am my name is honor michael thomas i'm a business and marketing consultant and also a life coach and over the years i've gotten the opportunity to work with different people around the world now this module have been built okay i've injected it with some personal stories some antidote just to help you understand better what i'm saying or what where i'm driving out and why it's important that you take every step every action that i'm going to lay out in this module now let's talk about the first thing when it comes to you building your self-worth when it comes to you building your self-confidence you see i started off this module with saying that we are all created here for a purpose we are all put into we are all put in this life for a purpose that we have something special to offer to the world now i say this thing without mistake i say it because it's the truth and it's a fact we all are here for a purpose but one thing i've discovered over working with different people around the world working with different people to help them build themselves in life i've discovered that in most cases and also personally i make this same thing i i make the same mistake is looking up to others more than we look up to ourselves i'll repeat it again one of the biggest mistakes a lot of us make in life is looking up to others more than we look up to ourselves we feel that other people are better than us we feel that other people are greater than us we feel that other people have everything that they are lucky that god you know they have this lucky charm that everything just work out good for them we believe other people has it all they have everything more than us that they are better and all these things now this this erroneous ideas go on to impact most of us in life beyond ways we cannot imagine you see when you always compare yourself to others when you always look up to others more than you look up to yourself what you are telling yourself what you're telling your mind your subconscious mind your spirit your being is that hey I don't feel special. I'm not really worthy. I'm useless. I'm 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 inferior. But this other guy or this other lady, he's better. You know, his life is much better. And you're also telling your maker that hey, you made a mistake. Now, like I said, God who created you, okay, doesn't make a mistake. Doesn't make a mistake. He has created you here for a purpose, and he said that he created you in his own image and likeness. That means you have everything that it takes to succeed. You have everything that the other guy or the other lady has or better as the case may be. You have you have your own unique gift, your own unique offering. Now, it's just like the parable the, the, the parable of talent that was told in the Bible. Now, for those of you who are non-Christians, please just permit me. Just take out the lesson that I'm about to lay, okay? And just forget about the fact that I'm bringing religion into this. Now, one thing I want you to understand that one um, important information i want you to understand is that i'm not religious i'm more spiritual so i that's why i want you to please just take out the lesson and forget about the religious part of you know this discussion now it um in the bible there it was told about it told about a story of three people that were given different talent and one person went on to you know build on their talent and made a profit the second person did the same thing they built on their talent invested in it and they got lots of profit but the third person went on to bury his okay went on to bury his and when the master came back to ask for the talent that was given and he was like hey you selfish um, master you you want to reap where you did not sow and all that that um how could you give me this one talent it's too small it's too the you know the way we all complain in this life and the master feeling disgusted with this um particular servant collected the talent and gave it to the guy who has five who has more gave it to the person who had more gave it to him and say okay you you've you've done well take this one and add to yours and he had to cast that that um particular servant that's the third person who didn't make use of his talent who went on to bury his talent because he felt that the master wanted to reap where he did not sow now why am i why am i telling you this story you see whether you like it or not okay whether you want to believe it or not whether you're christian whether you're muslim or whatever religion you 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 belong 
you have been given a mandate in this life and on the last day when you die you're going to give account of that talent that mandate that has been given to you now there's no point for you to worship others okay whether you it's your pastor whether it's your religious leader there's no there's no um there's no sense in worshiping these people giving them more attention than you give yourself okay there's no point in doing that because in the end you're going to keep on telling your your mind that hey you are not special that you are not unique when you go on social media you find people who are doing better and you tell yourself oh god what am i doing with my life that i'm useless i'm i'm this i'm that look at mr a look at mrs b he's she or she's doing better and me my life is useless and you know those those, those things they 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 don't serve you in any way they diminish your value now i'm saying this thing because personally i've also made that same mistake you see when i was still starting off my coaching business i got the opportunity to mingle with you know some great people who are doing absolutely amazing in this industry the coaching industry and when I was hanging out with them, I used to, you know, look up to this. I used to like worship them. I used to keep quiet and not speak when these guys are around because I felt that they were better than me. Now, there's this particular incident that happened that, you know, just sort of changed my perspective about life and every other thing. You see, I also belong to an international organization called Toastmasters and we give public speeches like it's, it's a platform where you get to learn your public speaking skill. Now, there was a particular person I was looking up to, like I so much adore this person, like if this person should said, hey, uh, or not her, this, I'm like, hey, yes, sir. And, and I just, you know, stoop low so that this person can, <coughs> excuse me, this person can, you know, just proceed. And... Everything changed when, you know, as I, I built myself up, I started, you know, engaging in personal development. And one particular day, we're both on stage speaking. We're both on stage doing what we do, that is speak and try to, you know, pass across information. And whilst we're speaking, I couldn't help but notice that, hey, this guy isn't even better than me. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm well knowledge. I've, you know, I've traveled. I know a lot of things, but I've been, you know, putting myself down. And when we're speaking together, when we're just having a conversation, I just realized how stupid I'd, I've been all along. How, you know, I'm, I, I was afraid to approach people to ask for, you know, their business and all these things because I felt these people were way better than me. Now, I, I, I'm telling you this, this story or this thing because, you know, when it comes to building wealth, okay, if you're not confident in yourself, you won't have the ability to ask someone to pay you money. You won't ask, you won't have the, the confidence to tell somebody, hey, do you know what this service I'm giving you is going to cost you 100,000 naira and be confident that, hey, this service or your service is worth that 100,000 naira. If you don't believe in yourself, you always believe, oh, okay, just give me anything, anything where you get, give me, you know, those, 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 those nonsense talk because you believe in others more than you do. Now, I hope you're getting the gist of, I hope you're getting the gist and you're understanding where I'm driving at. People you worship more than yourself, you should stop it, okay? Stop it and start from now henceforth to look at yourself as that precious being. Look at yourself as that precious man. Look at yourself as that precious lady that just like everyone else you look up to in this life, just like everyone else you adore in this life, you also have what it takes to succeed. You have what it takes to live a glorious life. Now, this particular message is very important because it's the it's a it's the foundation upon which every other thing lies going forward. It's the foundation upon which everything else I'm going to say, okay, in this module would revolve around. That is, you are unique, you are special, and you have everything that it takes to succeed. So stop looking at others that they are better than you and start appreciating yourself. Now, going forward, we are going to you know, talk more. We are going to expand, expand on these ideas so that you get to build your self-confidence. You get to understand how unique you are and also go on to start building wealth for yourself. Start you know, attracting 
those good things the money whatever it is that you want into your life let's talk about perception you see life is all about perception life is all about how you've chosen to look at life life is all about how you've you know decided to view things the way you decided to believe things the way you decide to you know act when you act based on the information you have around your life is all about perception now what do i mean by life is all about perception now to give you a glimpse of what i'm talking about i just want to tell you a little story you see there's a famous story about a man about two brothers one was in jail one was in jail locked up for life for committing murder while the second brother that the second brother was a successful business executive that has uh, multi-billion dollars worth of business and is doing extremely well he's healthy his you know his relationships are healthy his family they are living healthy he's in good you know relationship with his his wife and his children and they are both brothers one is in prison and one is extremely successful now when the guy who was in prison was asked how did you end up in this place how did you end up you know committing murder and doing all these bad things in life drinking you know <clears throat> excuse me taking drugs and all these things how did you come about how did you get to this point where you you now found yourself in prison he replied what do you expect of me when i grew up with an abusive father a father who was a drunkard a father who was a thief and did all sort of bad things what do you expect of me yes he has already set the path for me and he i i, I learned from him <clears throat> excuse me that's why i'm where i am because of bad influence because of my dad now the second brother who is a multi billionaire was asked the same question like how come how did you end up having all this money all this wealth how did you end up becoming this successful he replied what do you expect of me i don't have any option than to become successful because of my father i grew up with an abusive father a father who was a thief who was a drunkard who did all sort of things and because of those things i swore never to be like him i swore to be rich i swore to be successful i swore to be happy in life now two different brothers from the same father two different outcome now what am i trying to say you see life and where you are right now is all about how you've been looking at life if you ask if i should ask you right now why aren't you getting the things you you want out of life i'm sure you're going to tell me okay i don't have money people are people are stingy with their money people they don't necessarily they don't want to help and all these things right meanwhile there are other people who have been in worse situation that you are right now and they go on to build tremendous wealth for themselves they are now successful and we celebrate them in our society right there are people like that if we are to be truthful with ourselves there are people who really started from you know from the bottom and built something good for themselves now what's the difference the difference is all about how they've chosen to view life the difference is how you have chosen to view your own life now if you think right now that you are not good enough that you are not smart enough that you are useless that money will never come your way that you are destined for you know a life of mediocrity that people always take advantage of you that this life is full of thieves that you know um, rich people are arrogant they are thieves they are liars then all these negative things right you are never going to be rich because you won't be what you despise because if you despise rich people you are going to always you're always always going to act towards not becoming rich because you would want to be despised as well now the same thing goes with every other thing in life if you think relationships all men are cheats right you're always going to attract that you're going to keep away from men because you believe that they are cheats now that's why it's important that you understand this important information and you understand that hey where you are right now it's all about how you've chosen to view life you need to look at life differently 
that's why if right now you let's say you 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 are not really financially stable you're not where you are right now yet the important um, um information there is yet if you're not where you are supposed to be yet you should start viewing yourself like where you want to be like okay you should start seeing yourself as someone who is good enough someone who is beautiful someone who is handsome someone who is a multi-millionaire someone who has everything that it takes now i'm not saying that you should deceive yourself you know or fake it till you make it or all those stuff no i'm saying these things so that you understand that okay that right now in life you have everything that it takes to succeed and like i mentioned earlier on we've all been created in the image and likeness of god that we've been given you know gifts and talent what is left is for us to look deep within look at the things that we have that we can offer to the world right instead of saying hey i don't have money to do business i'm broke i'm this you should start looking at okay how can I start creating wealth for myself? How can I start generating money for myself? Now, when you shift from that perspective that you are broke, nothing good can ever come out of life and all these things and shift into this perspective of how can I start generating wealth? How do other people generate wealth? You are going to start noticing some little, you know, some little information that will help you to, you know, implement some ideas that will generate money for yourself or whatever you desire for yourself. Now, that's because you've changed your perception of brokenness, of, you know, there's nothing good to this life is full of abundance this life is 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 beautiful and all that now i'm still going to refer to something in the bible that you know i feel is um is very very important and that is one part of the bible that said that life and death okay is in the power of the tongue life and death is in the power of the tongue now what does that mean that means if you say you are broke that's the reality you're going to keep on getting. If you say you are rich, that's the reality you're going to get, okay? So going forward, you need to understand that if you're really going to, you know, build yourself or build your self-confidence and, you know, start attracting that thing that you want in your life, you need to start viewing yourself as that thing that you desire. If you desire to be rich, you need to start looking yourself as rich, as the like as someone who is rich. You need to start viewing yourself as someone who has everything that it takes to succeed. So this information is very important because going forward, okay, like I said, nothing would work in life if you don't work. Nothing would work out if you don't believe in yourself. So I want you to, you know, start now, look at your life how do you view things how do you view your circumstance are you seeing yourself as a victim or are you seeing yourself as someone who who is you know who has the ability to triumph so you are you viewing yourself as a winner like i said life and death is in the power of the tongue look at your life and start changing your perception start looking at things differently going forward we are going to also explore how we can you know build on our self-confidence how to build our self-worth so that going forward when we start talking about how to start any money you understand that where you are right now you deserve it okay because i'm saying this because if you see yourself like oh i'm just someone who is a thousand year like in a million is out of my reach you will never make a million you will never make millions okay so that's why this information is very important so take it to heart and look at your life right now how do you view life how do you view things around you do you think you're a victim or you're a victor do you think that you have everything that it takes to succeed or you are destined for a life of poverty you're destined for a life of suffering do that right now and going forward we are going to expatiate on this particular topic we are going to build ourselves up and we are going to help ourselves grow so that you get to that level where you start going for you know for bigger things you start attracting good things into your life you start you know be- you become bold towards the things that you so much want for yourself so going forward that's where we are going to concentrate on so that in our next program we are going to 
and we start talking about how to start generating wealth for ourselves, how we can start building ourselves so that we can become self-sufficient and self-empowered to live a good life.